How's it going everybody? A lot of people have been purchasing the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. A lot of people in my comments have been asking questions about the display settings and they want to know how I've been adjusting the RGB and I've discussed this in other videos but it's one of those things within your settings that you actually have to dive into and I always say this at the beginning of all these videos I say you cannot be afraid to dive into your settings on your Samsung Galaxy device. So if you're new to Samsung Galaxy, pull down the way I did right there, tap on your settings, come over here to your display. Now remember, everything that you do, you can reverse. It's not gonna stay stuck permanently. It ain't gonna do anything like that. So you're gonna be all right. First thing that you're gonna wanna do, and for the video, I keep my brightness at about 50%, but when I'm not making videos, I keep it at about 75 or 80%. But let's come over here down to your screen mode, which is right here. <laughs> I keep mine on vivid. You can also choose natural and natural. It kind of looks like that. I don't like that. I like a more vivid look, but let's get down to that RGB that everyone talks about. So RGB basically stands for red, green, and blue. And you can also see here on the very bottom, I also have my vividness cranked all the way up. I've been using Samsung Galaxy devices now since a very, very long time, and I've gotten very accustomed to the oversaturated, to the very saturated and oversaturated displays and their appearance. So whenever I go to a phone that is not as saturated and not as overly vivid, I don't like it. It's just what I've gotten used to over the years. But what you can do, and if you want to do something a little less extreme as me, and when you crank up your blue the way and the vividness, and you turn down your RGB, you end up getting a cooler looking display, which I really like as well. A lot of people do not like a blue screen for, for many different reasons. I prefer a very cool and blue display. But if you want to, you want to do something a little less extreme, you can come over here and do something like that. Now, I'll do that again for you. Now, pay attention to this area here. You see what it did? All right, now we're gonna do this again. Then we're gonna come backwards. Now I wanna show you all something. I want you to watch the reds up there. I wanna crank up that red. You see how it punched out? It's not bad, but I mean, I don't know, let me see. Let me get about right there. You know what, that looks right. That looks like a su uh, sweet spot right there. What I'm saying is, let me turn on that blue for you. Say you were to just go like this. You see how your blues are not as, um, not exaggerated, but uh, pronounced. All right, we'll come over here. I prefer that versus, yeah, I prefer to have my blues just there. All right, let's turn down that vividness a little bit. All right, no, no, that's boring. So anyway, for me, a more dynamic and vivid experience is to have my red, green, and blue adjusted as such and my vividness adjusted the, this way as well. All right, everybody, if you have any more special requests, please let me know. I love doing these special request videos. They are, they are a ton of fun. I love helping people. Keep the comments coming as well. I'm enjoying it. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Take care.